Residents of Gilbert and citizens of the online community, I'm wearing a denim jacket. And I'm Miguel. And here at Gilbert Daily Press, we want to say Happy Veterans Day. Yes. And thank all of you vets who have served our country. You've done us a great service. Juliet, can you say hi? She's not into it. No? This is my niece. She's super cute. Mm -hmm. She's got light up frozen shoes. Those are adorable. How did you enjoy Gilbert this week? Amazing. That was great. All right, Juliet, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out here. We're on the so here at Gilbert Daily Press, Miguel and I would like to think that, that we're actors, but earlier this week we learned what it truly means to be an actor. This week we were running around to all those plays that we told you about in last week's episode, mm -hmm. and we actually got to meet a bunch of these kids who were working super hard over the last couple months to make these plays happen for the community. Why don't you have a look and meet these kids for yourselves? Daniel here, and I can't even get a word in. You want to tell us a little bit about the work that's gone into the creation of this? We have been rehearsing for approximately eight weeks. It's really been a community effort. We've had a lot of parents come in to help everyone. A lot of research has gone uh, into everyone uh, with their lines. Everybody's really worked uh, very hard. I am the costume mistress, uh, so I make the costumes, I put them on stage and make sure they don't go out there naked. <laughs> How much work have you put into this so far? Um, about two months work. We rehearsed like two hours, then four hours, then we did a total of like five or six hours this last two weeks. It's amazing what, what they put into these things. Time, money, the effort. They're fun too. The kids are really outstanding. We have spent a little over two months rehearsing for the play and also building the set and um, the kids are really excited to show a, a really good Agatha Christie mystery. Go Bananas! B-A-N-A-N-A-S! Go Bananas! B-A-N-A-S! Everything is set, everything is ready, so go and have a great show. You got any of those uh, pre-show jitters? Always, always. What would you say to anyone who's looking to get involved in theater? Do it. Definitely try out for any show you can get your hands on, and it's, it's a lot of fun. You guys got any other shows coming up soon? Yes, we have um, Taming of the Shrew, and we're also having Christmas Carol around Christmas time, uh, done by the Intermediate Theater class. The play's about to start pretty soon, but I'm still waiting for Usher to show me to my seat. I hear he's around somewhere. Get off the couch and support local theater. All right, we really want to take our hats off for those kids. They were amazing really charismatic. They were really just like, I don't know, all about the art, all about the craft, mm -hmm. all about the, uh, the yeah. theater, theater culture. Yeah, it was, it was cool. inspirational. You don't really see things like that too often. So we can learn something from their passion for sure. So do yourself a favor and keep checking in at gilbertdailypress.com for listings on upcoming shows. If you guys are watching this on Facebook or anything like that and haven't had time to stop by and check out our YouTube channel, you should. Yeah, you really should. There's it's a lot fun. of good stuff on there. And we're going to start populating the heck out of that page yeah. with some really funny videos. We've pretty much created a one-stop shop of everything Gilbert, and it's just going to continue to grow. So you might as well get on board and watch our videos now. Right. So please subscribe. Please tell all of your friends to subscribe. We want to include you on this great journey we're taking. You remember what it was like to be the last person to watch the newest episode of The O.C.? Don't let that happen again. Yeah, so I was reading this book about uh, anti-gravity. I couldn't put it down. Everybody knows this guy. <laughs> He's a super funny guy. He's the only one who has inside jokes with complete strangers. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We had a lot of fun this episode. We hope yeah. you tune into the next one because a lot of great stuff's happening yeah. this week. We will be out at the Gilbert Days Rodeo, which is happening the 14th through the 16th, one of those nights. You will catch us there. Yeah having a ball, I'm sure. And if you recognize this tune, you'll be happy to know that this man, BJ Thomas, is performing here in Gilbert, a man who has sold over 70 million records in the span of his career. He's playing in Gilbert. You should really go. I think I'm a real shame to miss this. I'm absolutely gonna be there. We've got the art walk coming up again this Saturday. Yeah. As you can see, it's always a good time, lots of cool stuff. Thanks for watching, Gilbert. In honor of Veterans Day, we'll leave you with this. Here at the Veterans Memorial Parade, let's talk to a couple of vets and see how they're enjoying it. My name is Alex Soto. I served in the Marine Corps from 1958 to 1962. My name is Tom Steinmetz, United States Navy. John Mullen. I'm retired from the United States Marine Corps. I'm medically retired due to wounds received in the combat.
You know, honor these guys. They're serving now. They're the, they're the heroes now. We're the have -tons. Heroes of the past and the heroes of now. I think there's room for both of you. Thank you. I'm John Cottom. I was in the Marine Corps. I flew uh, helicopters uh, in Vietnam. I'm Bill Pope. I retired 20 years ago, November 13th. Robert Johnson, United States Air Force, retired. I retired 1976, 20 years service.